Hi everyone, this is Natasha and I'm going to share with you how I made the scrapalope and it's a size that will fit ATC card and envelope as well as a little goodie and this could totally be sent through the mail as is. And I had shown this in the Operation Right Home um, blog hop this past Saturday and there's a lot, a lot of questions on how to create it so I'm going to show you what you need to create one. So I'll just keep this off to the side so you could so it'll be right in the background. So I'm going to be using the following uh, one eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, and I'm using craft uh, cardstock from Hobby Lobby. It's on the thicker side, so I would recommend scoring a couple of times lighter rather than um, with a lot of pressure once, so you don't rip through the paper. I'm using eighteen inches of this embroidery floss for the closure, uh, two one inch black cardstock circles which I have punched with a uh, center circle using or the center punch using my big bite because you're going to need to get far enough into the envelope and so you can't, uh, the crocodile won't fit. Then a um, corner puncher from Wear Memory Keepers at quarter inch, a pair of scissors, a pen, and because I don't have a punch I used this uh, cuddle bug half inch circle and for my particular one I'm using um, I two part eyelets which have a front and a back which creates a nice finish edge. So I'm going to put those off to the side and then I'll show you which size where to score. So I'll move these off to the side. So I have my eight and a half by it's eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. I have it from zero to eleven lengthwise, so it's the largest size. And then I'm going to score it at three and a quarter. And again, I'm going to go slower but multiple times in order to create I might use this one and I use the larger ball side so it's three and a quarter sitting awkwardly <laughs> I'm going to take the paper and then flip it 180 degrees so I still have the length of the paper up at the top and again score it three and a quarter. And I'm just holding the paper down so it doesn't slide on me as I'm scoring. So now I have three and a quarter score three and a quarter score. Now I'm going to take it the short way so it's zero to eight and a half and I'm going to score at one inch this is for the bottom flap once again flip it 180 degrees and score an inch and a half but before I do that I want to make sure that my card's going to fit, so I'm going to grab one of my sample cards. And one and a half will give me plenty of wiggle room. So one and a half. I have all the scores done. I'm going to set aside my Martha Stewart board and fold the score lines. Where the valley is or the where the peak is, that's where you want to score it. I score the short, longer sides first. 
I'm just using a scoring tool. You can use a um, bone folder. have all the folds down. Let me grab a longer pair of scissors because when you have longer pieces of paper to cut it's always best to do with the longest pair of scissors you can. And I'm going to cut off each of the four corners. So this is the top flap, this is the bottom flap. I'm going to cut, but when I cut I'm going to cut just on the interior of the score line both sides. That will ensure once you go to fold and glue together you'll have less bulkiness at the seams. So just on the inside of the folds. And the same thing with the so now this is what it looks like so these are the sides, that's the center, bottom flap, top flap. So now you're going to want to put your quarter inch rounder on. And as you can see, this doesn't fit up against this. So all you have to do is close the flap and then around each one of these. rounding every single straight edge. So now I'm going to fold everything up. The next step is going to be to add a hole on the top for the top flap and a hole here to add the two elements where the embossing or the floss is going to be around, just like this. So I'll be right back once I grab my um, red line tape and make the holes. <laughs> 